And now we'll finish off with Umesh and Energy Tech Ventures. I've never seen people clapping so much for a tail ender. <laughs> and I, and, I, and I, can, I can promise you it's going to be as much fun as it was to see Glenn McGraw bat. <laughs> it was on the 10th of August 2017 when my wife uh, I mean, delivered a second child. It was an amazing moment. But later in the evening, her heartbeat fell to almost 40. The doctors were artificially trying to pump it up, and I was keenly and very nervously looking at the monitoring screens, trying to decipher trends on her pulse rate. But it was then when I realized that no one else was watching. She's fine, we are a happy family, but potential opportunity to create value, to treat her better, to treat other patients better was lost forever. But why am I talking about this today? Because in my professional experience of working with commercial industrial and manufacturing sector for the last 10 years, I've seen them do the same day in and day out. But it's not just us who believes this. McKenzie came up with the study and said the manufacturing sector, which essentially also includes commercial and industrial sector, only creates 20 to 30% of the value from the investments they make on data. Problem stroke opportunity for most of us in this room is only gonna get bigger. There's three times the investment's going to happen on global energy management systems market, moving to almost 56 billion US dollars by 2020, and not in talking about the trillion dollar investments happening on the industrial internet of things market. Ladies and gentlemen, we still don't know what we don't know. And that is where Energy Tech Ventures, our company, steps in. We provide insights as a service to commercial and industrial customers, helping them take on time and critical decisions on improving energy productivity. Our value proposition lies in leveraging our sector-specific algorithms that can integrate with existing data and IT infrastructure, delivering an experience to the customer that is faster, better, and cheaper in relation to the current solution that they have. But this isn't an idea. This is something that has been tested and deployed at multiple locations in India, We've worked with some of the multi-billion dollar Kilmogrets in India, for the, to name a few, Tara Motors, the Aditya Birla Group, and Wellspin. We have solutions for five sectors, algorithms for multiple use cases, and over here in Australia, we've been able to make significant progress, not just in trying to sign agreements, but actually moving beyond and doing and delivering value through proof of projects. One of the examples is the work that we did with the awesome team of Spotless, and people at Royal Children's Hospital, that we've been able to use our algorithm stack, deploy it on top of the data that they had to be able to come up with insights that could potentially improve up to 7.5% of life cycle and chiller, which is a critical asset there, and boiler efficiency by 8%. And not to mention the number of anomalies that were found out using our algorithm, something that can empower the team on the shop floor to make better decisions. But it isn't about the small infrastructure. Royal Children's Hospital, by any stretch of imagination, isn't a small infrastructure. But we have deployed a similar solution stack at Asia's largest textile plant, which is 25 times the size of Royal Children's Hospital when it comes to the energy consumption. Delivered exactly the same results in the same time. But what is that differentiates us? We have taken an approach that is platform independent, and that a stack that could offer solutions for multiple use cases. And that is what really puts us ahead of the competitors. Of course, we are not there yet when it comes to valuation, when it comes to, to, to the revenue we are doing. But we probably found a way in which we can put energy sector at par at, with healthcare and finance, who've been able to take the API approach and really be able to leverage the data that you have. But what is also important is keeping the customers at the heart. The three key things that we deliver to the customers is that the fact they don't need to invest in new hardware, the solution is scalable and flexible, and most importantly, it comes with low risk and low investment. But we are not gonna sit back and be very happy that we have a first mover advantage. Plants are on and are firm to be able to increase the size of algorithm, number of algorithms we have by 7x over the period of next three years. We charge our commercial and industrial customers while recurring and over a period of couple of years from now, we want to open up energy API marketplace and leverage
via all the algorithms that we have put forward. We believe we have an amazing team, together with Abhishek, who has 20 years of experience in, in, in the IT industry, has bootstrapped a company which has almost $20 million of revenue now. Myself, I've had 10 years of experience in the energy markets. Very recently, I was inducted into the World Energy Council's Future Energy Leader Forum, which, and together with us, there's a team of 15 people back in India, diverse, back, diverse backgrounds, working on one mission, and that is to build Energy Tech Ventures as a global energy player, and more importantly, a billion dollar energy enterprise. And what's really important, it's gonna happen now in Melbourne. We don't believe in making announcements before they happen, but essentially this is one move that potentially could not just change the way the energy ecosystem behaves here, but also otherwise. We started in 2017, did almost $200,000 worth of revenue, have 20 plus algorithms. In 2018, we are setting up our global headquarters, moving in the IP, and we are going to be developing further over here. We are opening up our bridge round in the next couple of weeks. We are looking to raise almost $1 million. Gives me immense happiness to inform that we have closed 40% of that, commitments of $400,000 already. But, but Abhishek keeps me on my toes and says it's the customer's money which is more important. And we have a sales pipeline of almost two million Australian dollars and we are, we are aiming for $250,000 worth of MRR in the next 15 to 18 months. All of this to make Energy Tech Ventures the number one player in the market in India and Australia and then to head global. I was the last one to speak and I'm gonna take that advantage. This is a quote that I deeply believe in. It says that, open up to the world and see the world open up to you. And ladies and gentlemen, all of you here today are the world for me, my partner, and my team. I look forward to talking to you at our booth and hoping to have an interaction that could help us work together going forward. Thank you so much for your time.